Can you just talk about how far your safeties have come in, over the course of a year over last year? Um, yeah, they're playing really good ball. Josh Metalis playing uh, really well. Uh, coverage and uh, getting his hands on balls and uh, his tackling uh, <clears throat> really improved in in all areas. Uh, doing a fantastic job. Talk about Chase Winovich. It's, it's been, he's had quite a season. And just oh, there's a lot to impress you. But what, talk about what's impressed you most about Chase. Well, he sure has, has ha been having an impressive season. Uh, all ways that a defensive end can affect a game, you know, he's he's found a, found ways to do that. Whether it's um, getting pressure on a quarterback or um, tackling, playing uh, from the backside or the front side, hustle plays constantly, um, tip balls uh, sideline to sideline, and you know, every way a defensive end can affect a game. All the way to the left there, Casey. How motivated is this team to play this week against Penn State after what happened last year? I think the team would be motivated to play this week and every week. What? Jim, do you have an update on Rashawn's status? And is he is he expected to play this week? Um, don't know. Don't have an update for you. How did Tariq get through the bye week? Good. Do you, uh, do you expect to be full go here? Uh, we'll see. Left uh, Larry. How did you use the extra bye week to prepare for Penn State, and what <clears throat> what jumps out at you about their team right now? Um, we we practiced. We had meetings. We uh, had weight workouts during the bye week. Uh, Penn State is an excellent football team. Uh, they are once again this year uh, in all phases. Very, uh, very good team. Jim, you once said Ben Mason was born to play fullback. What traits of his led you to, to think that? How have you seen him develop since then? Um, he's just a very, very. Uh, Physical, uh, aggressive football player who um, has great contact courage. He really craves it. And uh, he's a, he loves it. He loves football. He loves contact and loves uh, running and hitting. What, what led you to move into fullback uh, when he got here? Well, he was playing uh, linebacker when we first started in the spring. and. Uh, he was just so good at going forward. Uh, you know, he's uh, that's I think that's his his personality. It's not an it's an attacking type of uh, football personality, and really felt like um, he was so good as a downhill type of linebacker that you know to be able to do that all the time, you know, be be a downhill aggressive football player, uh, fullback would be a great position for him. Chris. You said you wanted to get some of the younger guys some reps last week. Was there anybody who stood out in your mind after you saw them? Oh yeah, there's been uh, been a bunch of uh, good work going on in the whether it's the Monday scrimmages or the opportunity practices as we had last week. Uh, several guys. Any names some of those, or would you rather not? Oh, I mean, you hate to leave somebody out, but uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of really good work going on. In those practices, and like the, uh, I think our players really look forward to them too. Um, in the back right. How difficult is it to try to keep up the momentum that you've had in the winning streak after the bye week, having a week off now, if at all? Um, I was just um, attacking this week. Um, Everybody coming in, uh, coming. Uh, we practiced yesterday, as a matter of fact, so it's already already begun, and uh, and we practiced last week during the week, so 
can't really say that uh, you know it, it stopped. Go so, continuous. It's been continuous, and we um, strive for continuous improvement, so that that fits in well. Hello, Dan. How was Cron uh, Higgins' maturity helped him on the field? Well, he's uh, been. Uh, how's his his maturity? Yeah, he's a very mature guy. I think it helps as a football player. Um, you know, he's very goal oriented. Uh, I think that's a very mature trait. Um, you know, he understands the benefit of hard work, and uh, he's been a very good example for the entire team as a leader. And he. He's played tough uh, in practices and in games, uh, which has also been uh, you know, something that I think other people rally around. On the left, Larry. In what ways does Chase uh, and his unique personality lead this team kind of uh, off the field or emotionally? And um, do you kind of enjoy that he lets people see what he's like? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the, he is definitely a great example and always has been. And it's the greatest share is what he does as a um, as an example, playing football on the field. Um, you know, just does everything at such a intense level, um, hardworking level. Um, and he's gung-ho, too, as, as he's doing it, which is um, seems to be a rare, rarer trait in individuals these days um you know, i think um sometimes i see younger people thinking it's more cool to be have an approach about uh that they're too cool for school uh, as opposed as opposed to gung-ho and um you know, chase is definitely a throwback in my mind and in the area of uh attacking each day with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind which uh i have great respect for Jim, do you anticipate having Chris Weber in town? Was it this weekend? Yes. He's coming? Anticipate him being the honorary captain for this Saturday's ball game. What's that going to be like for you to see put him back? Oh, very, very excited about it. Did you pay attention to the Fab Five when they were here? Of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like most everybody. Yeah. It's a big fan. Can you just talk about Andrew Stuber's improvement and what you've seen from him as the years progress? Andrew's doing a nice job. He's uh, just shoulder the grindstone and uh, you know, patiently, uh, you know, getting better and understanding that uh, you know it, it's a process. But he attacks it every day. I like Andrew a lot. Steve, you can talk about Will Hart. The punting average is inside the 20 kicks and, and, and what he's meant for field position and what he's accomplished this season. Uh, he's done a great job. It's uh, see it in practice and in games. He just uh, you know, he's just been lights out. It's it's great. Um, you know, I think it's a he's made huge improvements in in his game. The the punting position is you know is uh, one that we're really confident in, and he's. Uh, Perform consistently well, punt after punt. Aaron? I don't think we ever got an update on Juwan Bushel Beatty. Is he, did he practice last week? Is he good to go? Um, no update uh, on Juwan so far. Can you talk a little bit about Trace McSorley's and what the challenges he presents. Terrific player. Um, Consistently plays really well. Um, poses uh, you know, the threat in the passing game, defending the pass, and and uh, he's running the ball a lot more this year, very effectively. So, you know, he's uh, quite a quarterback. You know, he's got that that win it factor. Um, shows up over and over. Yeah, big challenge for our team this week.
in the back right. What's allowed Toronto and, and the running game to be so effective this year? Well, it, uh, a lot of factors. Um, improvement uh, in uh, sustaining blocks, uh, you know, getting on the right guy. Um, you know, less mental error in, uh, in our blocking assignments. Uh, patience by the by our team and and uh, trust in the run and going back to the run and and uh, you know constantly uh, you know having that as a as a weapon in our in our attack. Karan uh, deserves a lot of credit. He's he's gotten tough yards and yards after contact yards. More than what the play is blocked for, and uh, Karan has also shown a uh, <clears throat> a real penchant for the big play. I mean, he can he can break out of a, of a pile of players uh, as as good as anybody. Um, so knowing that that's always a possibility is uh, you know that's a huge factor in staying with the run like we do. Uh, talking about the plus 50 type of runs that he's got a real knack for. Got time for a couple more questions? Your, your team is one of the best in the country in time of possession. Was that something that you were thinking about heading into the year, or is that just a product of the running game being so good? Uh, yeah, I think that's a, a team product when the defense is really good and the uh, offense is good at making first downs, moving the football, scoring points. Uh, and the special teams is is uh, doing their jobs and creating field position. So look at that as a team statistic. Larry? Would you care to comment on the Big Ten's uh, reprimand of you and, and Devin Bush? No, I don't think I have anything to add to that at this time. Later date? Possibly. <laughs>